Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. So today I'm just going to be talking about the G Skill Ages Kit of RAM that I picked up. Um, I've never actually tried this memory. I have no idea what was under the hood, what type of ICs come with this kit. Uh, but to my surprise, I got some Samsung D dies. This is a type of IC that I have never worked with. I've never overclocked. Um, but like I said, I was actually surprised as to how this performed and maybe you guys will be too so let's go ahead and dive into the video and uh, i'm going to give you a brief look at what i did now i'm going to be perfectly honest i had no idea what i was buying here um, i actually thought that the sticker that's on the kit of ram was actually a heat sink but it isn't it's actually just a peel off sticker and both kids both sticks come with this sticker back side front side whatever side you want to look at it from yeah I thought that was actually a heatsink I didn't look at the pictures closely so that was my bad but still I am pretty impressed with the performance with the type of performance at least that I was able to achieve out of overclocking this little kit of RAM here they're uh, not the best overclockers but you know what for around 80 bucks for what I paid that's actually not bad I managed to get 3600 megahertz out of this kit I skipped the XMP profile started off straight out of JTEC specifications and for this one here's 2133 and took it all the way up to 3600 megahertz leaving the voltage at 1.35 volts which is what corresponds to the XX XMP profile then I changed the timings from 16 19 19 19 36 and uh, I also had to mess with the TRC and the uh, TRFC to be able to uh, squeeze out a little bit of performance. If you try to push the voltage up on this kit of RAM from 1.35 volts, it becomes really unstable. Yeah, this doesn't scale well like Micron E die or, or Samsung B die. It's not one of those kits, it's not one of those type of ICs. Uh, it's very sensitive to voltage. So 1.35 volt was the sweet spot and I just left it there. I managed to get a, get all the way up to 3733, but it was just not stable there. It started to push back. So I left that at 3600 megahertz with the timings that you see or you're about to see. Um, and they worked just fine. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. By the way, this is just a little workbench or test bench that I built out of wood. I'm actually a carpenter by trade. So it's just some scraps that I had and I put this together. So let's go ahead and take a look at the... Um, the information here out of Typhoon Burner as you can see the ICs are made by Samsung but this is uh, instead of 5WB you get 5WD uh, yeah this is Samsung D die very sensitive to voltage uh, but you know what it still performed well I'm not gonna complain about it you can see the timings here um, I went with 16, 19, 19, 19, 38, TRC 68, and TRFC of 400. These are the only times that I changed. Actually, these are the only changes that I made to the RAM period, uh, except for the obviously the bump up uh, in the megahertz. Um, but everything else I left on auto, and yeah, I just couldn't get it stable if I tinkered with anything else. So, um, but yeah, it works really well. I'm actually surprised at the type of performance that I managed to get out of this kit and this and the stability. Um, so as you can see here in Ida 64, read speeds from 43.7 to 52,169 megabytes a second. And our write is going to be whack like this because it's a single um, core or single CCX complex on my yeah. My 3700x but here's the uh the important one from 79 or 76.9 nanoseconds to 68 nanoseconds in the latency so that's a big jump in geekbench 3 i managed to get a single core score of 5054 points a multi-core score of 5881 point to 5855 single core and multi-core 69 82 went overclocked to 3600 megahertz and tweaked sub timings
Grand Theft Auto 5 will be the only game that I'll be testing with this overclock because it does give me a good idea generally what type of performance I have gained from an overclock. Here you can see an average of 10, 10 frames per second gain from going from 3000 MHz to 3600 MHz and tweaking out the timings. In my opinion, if you're looking for a good kit of RAM but you're not looking to break the bank, this would be a good option for you as long as you're willing to get into the BIOS and make some changes, do some overclocking. I'll leave the video here guys, I hope you enjoyed it, hit thumbs up if you did, see you in the next one.